This weekend, I'm having a bit of a Ray Winston bonanza. On Saturday, I'm interviewing Ray Winston live on stage at the Bradford International Film Festival. They got a Ray Winston retrospective. They're showing, I think, nine of his films. And I was looking back over his filmography in preparation for the interview. I interviewed him a while ago, and he told me this interesting story about how when he first started making films, he did a film, and then he thought, well, that's it. Done films now, gonna move on. Because since then, he's been in such a wide array of things. I mean, just recently, we've seen him in Martin Scorsese's Hugo, which for me was the only film to do something interesting with 3D. He was unrecognisable as Beowulf in Beowulf. He, he was really great in a small role in Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll as Ian Dury's dad. So, here are my top five Ray Winston movies. At five, Scum. Both versions. The film was made twice. Once for television, where it caused a terrible controversy, then again for the cinema. And it was after that film that Ray Winston decided that he'd done with acting, he could move on to other things. It is, of course, also the movie which gave us what remains Ray Winston's most infamous line, I'm the daddy now. At four, appropriately enough, 44-inch chest, a movie which took on-screen swearing to Chaucerian levels. Winston is brilliant, but rarely have I heard profanity be so poetic. At three, The Proposition, John Hilkert's savage Antipodean Western, written by Nick Cave, which I mentioned for two reasons. One, it's a really good movie, which too few people have seen. And two, there was a story in the press recently that Winston, Cave and Hilkert are once again working on The Death of Bunny Monroe, which Winston promises will make shame look like Teletubbies. Now that's a must-see promise. At two, nil by mouth. Ray Winston gives an absolutely brilliant performance in Gary Oldman's semi-autobiographical tale of a drunken father wrestling with the world. There was, around the same time, a lot of praise and controversy for the film The War Zone, but for myself, I think nil by mouth has all the power. And finally, at number one, and this was a very, very close run thing, this and nil by mouth, but by a whisker, at the top of my top five, Ray Winston's finest movie, Sexy Beast, from the same writing team that gave us 44-inch chest. For me, that's the defining movie of his career. But what about you? What are your favorite Ray Winston movies? Let me know.